I come up on some tree roots. Anytime you get a set of roots like this, the, it's very easy for the coins or other items to get stuck as the, uh, the erosion goes on and they'll get caught behind the roots. So let's take a look here. A pinpointer is a must when metal detecting. Get the fine lab pointer. And it's right there. You know, a pinpointer is nothing more than a little mini metal detector, and you've got to have one. Those targets sometimes vanish or become camouflaged within the soil that you're looking, making it very difficult. I suggest getting one. You're going to save so much time trying to get those coins and rings and other objects out with a pinpointer. The pinpointer I use is listed in the links below, and that's the MindLab ProFine 35. If you're hunting a trashy site, you really need to think about getting that smaller coil. It's going to help you get through those undesirable targets and get right down to what you need to find. And that's that treasure. Smaller coil means better target separation. We've got the double D six inch, but you're still getting, you're getting hit right here. And it goes over the penny. And you see the, the target read out. There's the penny. There's another target here. Hey, don't be in such a rush to pick the coin up. Make sure you take your time and scan it three or four times with a coil. Listen to those tones. Remember the ID number so it becomes repetitive and you automatically know what coin or what object is down there based on that tone. You need to learn from every coil sweep and take your time. So rescan it, check it out, think about it, and put it to memory. You can see it doesn't take long. It's only 8 o'clock. Uh, I'm sweating like a dog. You've got to slow down and make yourself drink. When it's that hot out, I am the world's worst. I, too, I've got to tell myself, stop. Get something to drink. Look at my shirt here. I am soaking wet. And you'll feel the signs and symptoms of heat exhaustion if you keep going at it. So bring me a couple of extra bottles of water, Gatorade, and don't get to the point like this where you're soaking wet and you're feeling those symptoms creeping up on you. And I want you to take a look at this chart. Pause it if you have to. This could save your life. Be aware of it. You got to have a pouch. And I started out with a fanny pack. That one's right there that you see. And it worked great. But whatever it is, whether it's an apron, or a specific pouch made for metal detecting like this one you see right here make sure that you have one this is one I use just for the beach here and it's got a mesh bottom where the sand falls out and you can put your trash your coins whatever you find into that bag I always carry them out on the left side it holds my pen pointer band-aids other assorted items so Take a look at the different ones they have. There's a lot of them out there. Find one that works for you. And use it so that you don't lose those precious finds you've worked so hard to get. Folks, always ask for permission. Don't trespass. This Pizza Hut here, where I stopped to pick up a couple pizzas, used to be an old gas station. I asked the manager, she said, sure. So, you can do the same thing. Just get out there and ask. People will let you, believe it or not. These little business cards that I made up right here cost $9. That's it. 
and I hand them out and they work. So make sure, take the time to ask and people will let you go. You got to have a great digging tool and if you think you're going to get one from some box store or one for 10 bucks, forget about it. It's going to break, I'm telling you. I've only had two in the last 15 years and I just got a new one about a month ago. This one you see right here. It's a lot bigger. It fits my hand great. So spend a few extra dollars and invest in a quality digging tool. Now this is the big one for new people. Uh, even some of us older guys that have been doing a while. Don't leave your trash. If you dig up garbage, keep that garbage. Put it in that pouch that we talked about earlier. The one you're going to put your rings, your coins, put your trash in it. Put it in something else. Carry a plastic bag, but do not throw it back down on the ground, the beach, wherever you're at. You want to leave that area better than it was when you got there. And it doesn't take much. Do your part and keep that trash and make a difference in our environment. You know, here's a great tip in the last one. It took me about three or four years before I learned this. Carry a little spray container of water. When you pull those relics and coins out, they're going to be dirty. And you're going to want to identify or get a date or read some type of mark on it. So the little bottle of water, a little spray container, just like you see right here. This is a whistle that I'm trying to clean up. Uh, it's just a simple tip, easy to do, carry it, put it in that pouch, and I guarantee you, you'll use it the next time out. <music>